welcome back to my channel i am starting this video off in the car because i was doing my grocery shopping today and i was like you know what i've been telling myself that i want to try trader joe's for the longest and today's the day and i was like you know what i'm just gonna make this the whole thing because i have been following black girls and trader joe's or black girls Oh gosh, what is it called? I literally just started following them because I needed inspiration for Trader Joe's. I have heard all sorts of amazing things. I have a couple friends who shop here and rave about it. And I don't think I've ever been, I'm trying to remember something like in the back of my mind tells me I went once when I lived in Chicago, but I can't remember. And because of the fact that I can't remember, we're calling this my first time at Trader Joe's. So, um, I need some one healthier options because your girl is inching up on 200 pounds that's another story for another day we're gonna talk about it okay but uh for those that don't know that is the heaviest weight that i've ever been in my entire life and so i'm just trying to make some lifestyle changes and i feel like trader joe's because it's so close to my house it's probably an easy way for me to get like some frozen meals and just some fresh like organic food that can like help me change my palate from eating out all the dang time so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here and just kind of look around and explore. I have no idea what I wanna get. I have not thought this through at all, so this is probably a really bad idea, but yeah, we're gonna go in Trader Joe's. We're gonna look around, we're gonna grab a few things. I need produce as well, and I was not doing a third store because I just came from Aldi. So I'm gonna have to get my produce from here, so hopefully they have good produce. I, I, I have no idea. This might be a horrible idea, you guys. But we're in for it. I didn't welcome you guys, I just realized. So welcome if you're new. My name is Gabrielle. I also go by Gabe here on the channel. We are Miss GCH. And today we're going to Trader Joe's. <laughs>
you a plant person? I am. I'm actually a new plant person. So uh, I went from zero to a hundred. I now have seven plants. <laughs> Oh, that's a hundred. <laughs> to me. <laughs> okay. You definitely can do it. Don't don't pan it. Okay. And if you start to see a change in the plant and it yeah. doesn't look like a good change, yeah. just Google it, YouTube okay. it, figure yeah. out what's going on. With it. from Trader Joe's and yeah let's talk about it so Trader Joe's was actually really cool I really liked it I can definitely see why people shop there because it's definitely a vibe like I actually enjoyed my time in there um but I ended up getting I believe my total was $80 $80 worth of things now for me I do plan on starting weekly grocery shopping. That wasn't necessarily a thing that I did previously. I used to kind of shop for two weeks, but when you're eating fresh food, like it just, it doesn't last two weeks. And so I'm trying to get in the habit of eating healthier, um, more produce, more fresh food, which means I'm gonna have to be at the grocery store every weekend. And so $80 just on the um, Trader Joe's stuff, because if you remember, I told you guys I, went to Aldi first and I got like $30 worth of things. So that was about 110 for groceries for one week. That in my budget is not sustainable. At least the budget that I'm used to setting for myself. I know I can do better than that. Like when I shop at my combo of Kroger's and Aldi. So that part of it is like, mm, I don't know if Trader Joe's is gonna be my place for like a bunch of things. I will admit that this time I was kind of like giving myself a license to try things. Like I really just wanted to try things because it's my first time there. So I was grabbing some stuff that I probably won't grab um, on a regular. Um, but going here for like fresh flowers and plants, definitely. Um, they put out fresh flowers daily, I believe. I saw that on the sign. Um, coming here for snacks. You will see in here that I bought, I grabbed a few um, like random healthy <laughs> snacks. Because I'm a snacker, if you're anything like me, I wanna grab things throughout the day that are easy. I don't, I don't wanna claim that I don't like to cook, but I am not that person that loves to cook yet. I'm claiming that that will change, but right now it's not the case. So I definitely wanted to try out some healthy snacks. This might be my go-to place for that kind of stuff and not necessarily the regular, like, everyday type groceries. Um, but they did have some good prices on some of the things that I get all the time, um, like spinach and salad and that kind of stuff. So I have never watched a Trader Joe's haul. I know I have friends that have done them. I'm sure this is a thing on YouTube. I probably should have watched to see, like, how not to make this so ghetto. So sorry if this is giving you ghetto vibes because I didn't have a plan for this video. This is super random and I'm bringing y'all along. So, let's go through everything that I got. So, first thing I got was fresh eucalyptus. First of all, it smells amazing. And I heard that it's amazing to hang this from your shower. So, I just realized I don't have any twine or anything to hang this onto my shower head. But we're gonna figure it out because this smells amazing. Um, and yeah, I just heard it gives like a crazy, amazing experience in the shower. So I'm gonna try it tonight in my shower. I'm gonna hang this from the shower head and see what all the hype is about. Next, I got some fresh sunflowers. It's about that time. I haven't quite put out my fall decorations yet. I'm like, okay, that's a nice way to ease into fall. I love getting fresh sunflowers in the fall. I have these vases. I don't know which one. For these sunflower stalks are so thick i'm definitely gonna have to cut these down some um so yeah it'll be in one of these vases here but yes i got some fresh sunflowers all right now on to the food so like i said y'all i was just kind of grabbing stuff that i wanted to try i tried to have a rhyme or reason for everything that i grabbed but anyway okay slight technical difficulty but we're back <laughs> Oh, all right, are we back? We're back, okay. So the first thing is, is this kombucha. Um, it's strawberry lemonade flavor. I do like kombucha. I actually got a kombucha from um, Aldi, this 
one. I got pomegranate, which I've never had that flavor. I've had their um, pink lady apple or something like that. But this is from Aldi. This is the one I got, like I said, strawberry lemonade from um, Trader Joe's. It says organic and unpasteurized. I kind of want to taste these. Can we do like a haul slash taste test? Of <gasps> it looks like I was about to blow, y'all. Oh wow, my eye is twitching. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Um, I also got some Honeycrisp apples. I love Honeycrisp apples. I usually get them when I go to the store anyway. Not all the time, but if I grab an apple, it's either this or a Granny Smith. Um, I found three. They were $1.49 each, and I don't eat them like every day. So I only got a few since we're shopping for the week. To trying to get um, trying to get the amount that I know I would eat in a week. Um, here's where we got random with it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I saw someone talk about these. Like I said, I followed the um, Black Girls Love Trader Joe's or Black Girls and Trader Joe's, something like that. Or maybe it was Tiffany Davidson. I don't know. Somebody was eating these, if I remember correctly. Um, it says Power Crunch Protein Bar. It's a French vanilla creme. So there you go. You can see it. Not gonna open these and try them um, cause I don't wanna like make them not fresh. But you know, when I try them, I will let you guys know. I will give you an update. Um, I also have these onions. I love onion. I'm obsessed with onion actually. I have some great tomatoes. I don't know how you can really mess that up. Now here's where we get into our taste testing for real. This y'all, now this is not in accordance with my trying to eat healthy, but I mean, how do you pass this up? Glazed orange poppy seed scones? Are you kidding me? And of course we're gonna try one right now. I'm not gonna eat the whole thing per se, but we gonna nibble it. Oh my gosh, do y'all see that? I'm about to. Oh my God, Becky, look at her butt. Mm. Oh, y'all. Um, I said I wasn't gonna eat the whole thing. That's what I said. That's what I said. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's dangerous. I'm gonna just close that. Oh. Mm. I knew it was gonna be fire. Okay, here's where we also got into experimentation mode. I told y'all I love onions. I love them so much that literally when I'm cutting an onion, I always think, wow, I feel like I could bite into this like an apple. Knowing good and well that that would never be a good idea anywhere. Although I heard they do that somewhere in the South. But they had onion chips. And I was like, wow, that might satisfy my onion craving without biting into an onion like an apple. And like I told y'all, I was looking for snack items. So, boom, okay. First um, impression, very potent flavor. <laughs> I mean, very potent smell. Almost like it was a nasty smell. It's starting to level out now. This is what it looks like. It literally looks like an onion slice. So, here we go. Mmm. probably will not hit for you but when I tell you I'm an onion person I'm an onion person and I would eat like I would snack on those for sure and this one y'all can laugh at me that's fine Black broccoli for it these are supposed it's almost like kale chips apparently oh wow it literally is broccoli in little crunches literally do y'all see that but they're like hard Mmm. 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 Okay. Mmm. 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 Okay. I'll eat them because I bought them. 
I don't know if I would get those again. It's like, I don't, I don't know how to describe that, but no. The onion ones have more flavor. Those are kind of bland. And it's not giving what I thought it was supposed to give, so. I probably won't get those again, but I will eat them since I bought them. I got three years of corn. These is a corn for 49 cents. So that was amazing. And they look beautiful when I busted open the top. Like, it's good corn. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it is good corn. Moving on, I got some spring mix for my salad, spinach. Then I definitely started experimenting with this. Oh no, I didn't see it had like some, what are those, peas? I hope those aren't peas. Oh no, I took an L on that one. It's okay, I can eat around them. Sorry for y'all that love peas, I don't love peas. But I was literally just grabbing random stuff y'all to try for lunch. Cause again, I don't like cooking for lunch and tomorrow I work um, in the office. So like on campus and we don't have a microwave so I need cold stuff. So I might take this for lunch tomorrow. It's a lemon basil pasta salad. It looks fire minus the peas. And it's got like a whole lemon wedge in there. So. I don't know, we'll, we'll see if that tastes like anything. I also got this pesto chicken wrap. It's another lunch option. It's just Parmesan cheese, chicken, roasted pepper, and pesto vinaigrette. I got some already cut up fruit, mainly because when you buy it already cut up in the store, it's super expensive, but theirs was like $3, I think. And I'm talking like Kroger will charge you $7 for this. So I grabbed it just for the hay. Then I got some roasted potatoes with peppers and onions. I love when it's already packaged like this when I don't feel like cutting up potatoes and doing it from scratch. So this is new for me. <laughs> Buying fresh salmon is not something that I do. I usually buy frozen um, fish, but this was only 10 bucks. And in the grand scheme of things, for it to be four, it's essentially like four fillets, um, I thought that was worth trying. So we're gonna cook some fresh salmon this week i got zucchini and then a cucumber i usually eat cucumber in my salads and zucchini um, i'm going to do my chicken and roasted vegetables recipe and zucchini is one of the things in it and that was super cheap it was like 79 cents i got this tempura cauliflower kung pao and um i got this as something to put with rice um something quick and easy to make and it's a meat substitute, so it's cauliflower, that's a vegetable, which, you know, 10 points for me. I'm really trying to be healthy, you guys. I'm trying so hard. That's all for my Trader Joe's haul. Like I said, all this together was $80. And I feel like I got quite a bit for the week. I got some snacks, I got some lunch options, I got some dinner options. I got um, like the protein bars, I got some kombucha, you know what I'm saying? Like I kind of got a wide variety of things, fruit, veggies. Um, so I feel like Trader Joe's is something I can do on the regular. And I will also add that the checkout experience was so cool. I had the nicest guy, first of all, they do everything for you. You literally pull your shopping cart up, they take everything out, they swipe it, they bag it in your bags that you bring. Um, and the guy that I had was so super nice. He was talking to me about plant life. He was basically a professional um, plant guy and he was trying to tell me how to keep all my new babies that I have alive, so he was super cool. And they were just super sweet, super nice. And then I told him at the end of our convo that it was my first time at Trader Joe's and he said, usually they give a free Trader Joe's grocery bag, but I literally had so many extra <laughs> grocery bags that I already bought in. So he went and grabbed some free chocolate. So he grabbed me this dark chocolate, this organic dark chocolate, um, sea salt and nibs, single origin heirloom cocoa beans from Madagascar, dairy free. Now I will tell you guys, I don't eat dark chocolate, okay? It's not my favorite, but you know what? He was so nice and he grabbed it that I will try it here on camera for y'all. What do I feel like Willy Wonka and Chocolate Factory? Trying to get to the golden ticket. What is hold please? Okay, we're in. I'm just gonna try one of the one of the squares to see. Oh, oh no. 
That didn't go as planned. <laughs> I just want one square. Oh, okay. Here goes nothing. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, that salt is in there. Mmm. Very salty. Mmm. Not salty. It's just, it's literally got whole chunks of sea salt in it. So as I'm chewing, I'm like crunching the sea salt cubes. But you know what? I'm used to sweet chocolate, but this is not bad. Something about the salt is emphasizing the flavor of the dark chocolate and making it not so miserable, I think. Mm, it's just so potent when you first start chewing it. And then as you chew, it gets a little better. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna keep it. And when I want something sweet, I'm gonna try to force myself to eat this. <clears throat> Thank you to, what was his name? Caleb. His name was Caleb, you guys. Shout out to Caleb at Trader Joe's for my free dark chocolate as my first time gift. So the bottom line, would I go back to Trader Joe's? I absolutely would and will go back to Trader Joe's. It's only like 10 minutes from my house, so I really don't have an excuse not to. Um, I probably, like I said, won't get all the things I got. Definitely not ever getting these things. I'm gonna try to figure out my budget and see how I can make this work. Um, I also am not a fan of the fact that I would now be going to three stores, Kroger, Aldi, and uh, Trader Joe's. I'm not a fan of the three stop to get my groceries. But some of these items I think are worth that third stop. So I don't know, we'll see. Maybe it'll just be like a thing where I treat myself every once in a while. I don't know you guys, I don't know. But Trader Joe's definitely made a good impression on me today. If you are considering going to Trader Joe's, I highly recommend it, especially if it's your first time. Make sure to mention it at the register so that if you have a cool cashier like me, he will give you a free gift of some kind. But yeah, I'm about to make some dinner because I'm actually hungry and it's getting late. So if you made it this far, thank you for hanging out with me. If you have fun with me today, make sure you subscribe, click the like button, stick around for future videos, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.